What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for awesomeo.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, April 29th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comment section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO so that you can get $25 on your first deposit. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Nas Reed, Kyle Anderson, Desmond Bain, Patrick Beverly, and Jared Vanderbilt on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. First up at number five, we've got Dylan Brooks. He's 7K, projected for 35 and a half. In the optimal lineup, 54% of the time. I gave him 36 minutes, 22 points, almost five boards, three assists, and a stock and a half. He's going to have 28% usage. Dude is just going to shoot and shoot a lot. I think he's optimal in the captain spot 11% of the time. That salary certainly helps. Optimal at utility 42% of the time. Add them all up and round the correct way. You get to 54. I, I just like the idea of going to Dylan Brooks. I know the shooting hasn't been there for the past two games, but he's taking the shots. And that's the most important piece. He is also the first guy to cross the 50-50 threshold. And number four, we're moving up the salary tier, going to Anthony Edwards, 9,400, projected for about 45 fantasy points, and he's in the optimal lineup 60% of the time. I gave him 38 minutes, 24, 7, and 4 for Edwards and two and a half stocks, 26% usage as well. I mean, they're going to, I wouldn't be surprised if Edwards played 40 or 42 minutes. They don't want to go home, that's for sure. 13% likelihood that he is optimal as the captain. 47% likelihood that he is optimal in the utility spot. Either way, 60% for Edwards. We've, we took a step up in tier above Vanderbilt. We're taking another step up in tier above Dylan Brooks. In at number three, we've got John Morant, 11,800, projected for 54. He's in the optimal lineup 64% of the time. I gave Morant 40 minutes. He played big minutes this last game. 28 points, nine assists, and eight boards. Insane stat line for Ja and a stock and a half. 30% usage, which is the big one here. 19% chance of him being the optimal captain. He could just hang really big scores. 45% as well at the utility. Makes him and Edwards look pretty close, but the raw point ceiling of Ja Morant is a little bit higher. Gonna have to pay a little bit more for sure, but I think there's enough value, particularly on the Minnesota end, to make getting to Ja Morant a little bit easier. At number two, we're looking at D'Angelo Russell, 8,200, projected for 41 and a half. Optimal lineup 67% of the time. He's in for 36 minutes, 25% usage, 20 points, seven and a half assists, and four and a half rebounds, plus a stock and a half. Likes to shoot. 50% of the time, he's in the optimal at utility. So that's a coin flip right away in utility. Even slightly more than a coin flip. Technically, it's 52%. Plus another 15% at the captain spot. I think Russell's in a great spot. I'm a little surprised his price isn't a bit higher. You know, if, you, if, he's, if he was at like 86, 8,700, I think that would make a little bit more sense. But for now, given his price tag and his role for the Timberwolves and in honestly what should be a competitive matchup where you get the most minutes possible out of your starters, Russell's coming in in the number two hole. Like that's, I didn't expect that before the day started. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO. My number one contender for today is Carl Anthony Towns. He's 11K, projected for 55, and he's in the optimal lineup 72% of the time. 38 minutes here for Towns. As long as he stays out of foul trouble, he should have a monster performance. 26 and a half points. 13 and a half rebounds, four assists, and two and a half stocks. He's going to have 27% usage at the very least. 18% likelihood to be in the captain spot, 54% at utility. Add them all up, and there is no one in the optimal lineup on DraftKings more frequently than Carl Anthony Towns, and that makes him my number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, April 29th. FanDuel version of this video is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.